Olympic table tennis has come to North Carolina. Athletes from Canada and the United States are competing into the weekend to see who will represent their nations at the Summer Games in London. Well, this is uh, the North America Olympic Trials for table tennis. And it's three days of high-level competition. It's really between Canada and the U.S. In the end, they're going to select at least three men and two women. 16-year-old Ariel Shing of San Jose, California, is hoping to be one of them. Shing has been playing since she was nine. This is her second Olympic qualifier. Back then, I just really just played for fun, just for experience. I feel like this time is a really good chance for the U.S. team to be able to make it and go to the Olympics. So it's, there's a, lot, a little bit more pressure this time. Um, of course, I want to do well. I hope to make the team. So I guess the biggest difference is now that I really have a target. I have a, I have a goal. Sadly, the U.S. women will have to go without their top player, Yoon Gao, who went out with a knee injury. But Xing thinks the American squad will do well and, hopefully, excite American fans. I think table tennis is commonly misinterpreted as just a basement sport, but actually it can be super fast, it's really intense at times, and it's really like a chess game. Um, there's so many different strategies. Quebec native Pierre-Luc Pinks didn't qualify for the Beijing Olympics four years ago, but when is an alternate? I practiced in the main gym. I didn't do a competition, but I saw the matches. I went in the athletes' village, so I could still experience the Olympic Games. But this time I want to go as a real player, and not as an alternate player. Kintz, Shing, and the rest of us should know by Sunday. Alan Breed, Associated Press, Cary, North Carolina.